maybe he, he didn't say a spin after you like started your story so I guess he was just so enamored by your story that he just doesn't know what to say anymore anyway but <laughs> let's go this, this guy's cool I do like that that's pretty cool anyway let's pop this in to the time machine and get home there I said the fuse I just hope it still works here we go back to the present oh dear oh did I just did I part oh god I've just killed someone where that time machine what happened to it holy moly the time machine landed halfway inside the wall I'm pretty lucky to even be alive yeah that's not good the time machine's done for at least I'd say you've made the trouble of having to destroy it I don't have time for this I need to get out oh does Joe end up causing the um oh because Joe went to the future right and the future always got people very sick and tired so did, did is the future because Joe went back into normal civilian life and ended up causing a mass quarantine and a mass like disease that killed everyone yep okay it is awesome good to know I'm going to be able to pride out with these oh god how do I get out one of the security guards the blast must have killed him he must have been posted here after I took off I need to get out uh, small key, let's try it on here. It only opens from the outside. How do we smash this? Come on, pry it open, Joe. Uh, broken time frame. He's dead already. Can I shut the machine off? Can I somehow open the door? The door is locked. Oh, yeah, I can also have I can feel my whole body getting stiff. Oh dear. So yeah, Joe gets out. He causes the very big problem of, and then, then the quarantine happens. And yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. So everything is a self-fulfilling prophecy, basically. So everything happens because Joe's in an infinite loop where he constantly tries to fix time, but he ends up just destroying it uh, instead. So yeah. Oh dear, what's going on? You're right there, Joe. No, it can't be. The, the foreign organism. It's you. It's it's me. That's right. You made to escape here, I and then you. The disease. Yes, that's right. And you made to kill I'm everyone. The one who spreads it. Yep, that's right. You're the one who causes the future. It's you see. Me. And you can't stop it, Joe, because you'll just keep going in that infinite time loop because it back with me. you are you cause this to happen, so you keep going back in time to cause it to happen. It's an infinite loop. I, I can't deal with this. What do I do? Doesn't matter what you do, Joe. It's going to happen anyway. You can't mess with time because time can't be changed. There's nothing you can do, Joe. It's over. Get in the, get in the cryo chamber. Put yourself in quarantine. It's okay, I think it's all control from the terminal. We have open. Put yourself in the cryo chamber, Joe. I don't know how to work it. Let's get the scientist. Syntax error. <laughs> Syntax error. Oh dear. Okay, let's um. Let's go. Maybe the scientist is in here now. So let's go say hi to Mr. Scientist. Not much use for it now. Oh, maybe I can unlock the file cabinet. Oh, it fits. Oh, what's happening to me? Just turn a key, make my muscles hurt. <laughs> Lazarus Cry, console operator's guide, limb draft. I might be able to use this. Now I've got to get away before security shows if I start infecting everyone. That's right. Get in the get in the choir chamber, Joe. Quickly. And get in there. Quarantine yourself, but it's going to happen anyway. It's, it's too late. But, but I get infected and spread the virus that kills mankind, so. Yep. I didn't get to read that, but yeah, I've already basically established this. So. You do that, Dr. Lambert comes back to try and fix it, but guess what? You do it anyway. It's just an infinite loop where you end up destroying the entire Earth, Joe. I'm sorry. You can't stop it. You might want to get in a more comfortable position. No, okay, this is going to put you in one. That's cool. Same one as this guy, funnily enough. There we go. Maybe you should be naked. This guy's naked. They look naked, except this guy doesn't have a penis. Oh well. You do, you have a bit of a bulge there, Joe. 
I think. Here we go. Is that it? What's happening now? Who's this? Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Strange. His beard's grew. He looks more like me now. Um, this is strange. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, he can run. Awesome. It's a piece of paper with some squiggly lines on it. It looks like one of those polygraph test machines you see on cop shows. It's some kind of ticker tape thing. I'm not sure what it does. It's not writing anything right now. It looks like one... Okay, cool. Okay, it sounds Japanese. At least I'm still on Earth. I can't get it open. I don't have a need to get in there right now. I don't even know where I am. The doors are locked. It says Ikea next to the handle. Oh man, my joints are sore. I can't reach it up there. There's no handle. I don't think it's locked. It gives you a little when I push. I don't have a strength to try and bust open. All my joints are aching. I want to try and open the closet. Try and get the... I won't be able to reach it with this even if I made a paper airplane out of it. Hmm. A string. There we go. Oh, that's just like in a hospital. What is this place? Last thing I, I think I need to use this keypad. No, I'm going to guess the combination. Okay. Then these are all going to be locked, aren't they? Oh, it's not locked. Okay. And it's open. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the computer. It's a terminal of some kind, but nothing like one I've ever seen. There's a card game on it. It says solitaire. The image is so sharp it almost hurts my eyes. Where's the rest of the screen? On the computer. Hmm. Weird. Okay. It's not weird, it's weird for Joe. Oh, hello. I'm in a mental hospital. That's really nice. Hello, agitated man. Okay. Personal space. Right. Got it. Oh, Joe's actually, he seems pretty upset about the noise. The TV's really loud because it could take it. Anyone that, can we, uh... Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, well, let's... Okay. I don't know why the door... Why are the doors unlocked, by the way? Uh, did everyone die? I don't know. The doors are unlocked. It's really weird. <laughs> These doors shouldn't be unlocked. Oh, this man's a black man. Okay. It's a fern. Well, I guess the room doesn't need a refurnishing. No, that's terrible. I should work on my material. Picture frame. Oh, I've just... Whoops, I really thought this was a better, better fastened. From the looks of this room, it would seem kind of poor to try and put it up again. There's no real, really no point in fixing it. I doubt he will even notice it's down. So what does he got? 970 Lambert Lee's Archon, 983 Fan Known, Simpson Hegel, Mark II, Test Success, All the Kin's Horse and All the Kin's Men, 989 Fan Unknown Man Steals Mark IV, some sciencey stuff. I can't read what that says. Lambert Found Dead, Killed by Gunshot, Janitor Arrest, Unknown Man Steals Mark IV, so that would be Frank. All you zombies. What happened to Albert? So this guy, what, can see the future? Parasia, 13. This is Death Lamp, but it's on the floor. Clearly this guy's not all there. It really brightens the room, though. Disturbing around the walls, making wish it didn't. It seems like at least five kinds of crazy, so I better not mess with it. Cozy chair. There's some sort of gizmo stuck underneath the cushion. It kind of reminds me of those fancy Zen of Space Command TV remote controls. Only this one looks like it's actually from space. There's nothing there but lint and crumbs. Ikea, a lot of stuff around here has that name on it. must own everything. What is this place? It looks really comfy, but I don't have time to sit right now. Okay. Hello, jittery man? No way to escape it. No way out, no way out, no way out. Okay. I'm sorry, what? End of days. Skirt and sickness. Archon no for Sharon. Overlords hmm. conspired against us, tricked us, made us bring the poison back into yeah. the nest, like good little ants. Hmm. Who did? Too late. What's done is done. No backsies. Okay. But we must try. Do you hear me? I. Uh, uh. Sure. <laughs> the key to salvation. I've seen it. Right. its color. Know its shape. <laughs> they don't know that I know. Oh no. But I know. I know. You know, write do it. you? Write it, write it, write it. Before it disappears. Write it down before it disappears. 
Okay. I took away my tools. I'll, I'll forget without my tools. Do you want a pen? Tools? Pens. Paper. They're erasing the slate. Forcing me to forget. Mm. Trying to break my resolve. Right. The persistence of memory. I must repeat, repeat, repeat. All the time, repeat. Right. They fear me. Cower at the sight of scientific rigor. They know I'm close, so they take away my tools. Hmm. I'll show them. I mean, this guy's crazy, but he's he's a good kind of crazy. Casts no shadows. He knows what he's on about. This says Armor Fatty, by the way. That, that I, I know that's an X Files episode, but I don't know what it means. Um, so it's something sort of sciencey or like Latin. It's Latin, obviously, but like I don't know what it means. Um, let's turn off this guy's TV because he might be of some use. He's remote control of TV. Let's do that. There we go. Let's see if this. Hey, it worked. I'll steal your crotch. Where are you going, Mr. Agitator Man? Come back here. What are you doing, shirtless man? He's not agitated anymore, he's just shirtless. He's a lot calmer now, but still doesn't look like he's too fond of company. I've been leaving him alone. It's a terminal sun card, but nothing like one I've ever seen. Alright, now I can get my cr he seems really drawn to video screens. Maybe he'll play some solitaire, who knows. Let's um I don't know why I'd put a cord there that opens my door. Got it, I think most of the pens are up the top of the closet, but at least I got one down. Oh, I didn't grab it. Oops. Probably should grab it. Grab the pen. That's a texter, really. Less, less of a pen, more of a texter. It also doesn't have a lid, so I might go dry. You might want to fix that. Can I give this paper and pen to the jittery man? Here's some paper. Paper to reproduce the key. Need the paper. Gotta have paper. Yes, I do. That's right. Have keys a pen too. My dear, then the sword, the pen, the pen, the pen. Nice. Now what? The key. Five seven three one. Keep it safe. I'm bringing help. Okay. Don't get caught. Save the kingdom. Get the, get girl. the girl. Save, save the, kingdom. the kingdom. Get the girl. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Right. I don't think there's been like any females in this game at all. Uh. So, other than the news reporter, actually, she's the only one I remember being in the game. Um, I don't think there's any real females in this game. Well, you don't have to guess the combination, you've got it. So let's go in. It works, I guess that crazy guy wasn't so crazy after all. He's a good kind of crazy, I said this. Oh, here's another woman, nice. Computer. One of these weird flat terminal screens again. There's an image of a grassy field, so details almost looks real. I like how she hasn't seen me, she's so interested. Miss, nurse, I... Oh, hi there. Goodness. <laughs> you startled me. You could have just knocked. I should have just knocked, actually, yeah. Yes, doctor, actually, Dr. Emma Brown. I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we don't have any files on you, so I don't even know your name. Hey, right dear. Uh, it's Joe, ma'am. Nice. Well, call me Emma. We're not so formal here. It's nice to meet you, Joe. Just play wide outside these doors, by the way. I'm sorry, Dr. Brown. I don't know how to say this, but you, everyone here, is in serious danger. I'm very sick, and it's very important you call the authorities and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Deep breaths. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, she's going to think I'm completely crazy. How do you feel? I... Okay, I guess. Uh, a little sore. See, you're fine. And the soreness is to be expected. You've undergone muscle therapy. You've been asleep for at least three decades. Wow, they kept me they kept me sleeping for three decades. What? And she doesn't seem the I? least bit surprised that I'm, is this? I'm awake. Easy, Joe. I know it's a lot to take in. It'd be a shock to anyone's system. Haven't been under for as long as you have. It, it, it's you, don't seem, you don't seem very surprised. This is the psychiatric ward at St. Genevieve's Hospital. You were brought out of hibernation five weeks oh, ago. Oh, okay. Right. Like the others. You were placed in an artificial coma for regenerative muscle therapy and brought here for evaluation and rehab after everything checked out. Oh, but then we're not. We're all going oh to infect. God. So the other two were also bought, Tubes. but we're all going to infect. You have to listen to me, doctor. I, I'm dangerously sick. I was carrying something when, when, when I got in. I... Oh, that? Well, that's true. What? You did all have some kind of flu. Actually, the resident physician did find it peculiar how you had all contracted a type of avian uh. flu that only first appeared in the late oh. 90s, and a new strain at that. 
Right, so it's just a normal flu. The pathogen is largely dormant due to the extended hibernation. We run very thorough medical checks on all our cryo clients. So we gave you all a shot of our regular cocktail. Clear huh. right up before you even came to. Okay. So gone? But Archon... Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about all of that. Hmm. All I know is that the company that froze you went bankrupt back in the early 70s. Industrial sabotage. sabotage. That was me. Anywho, the remaining assets were sold off, and the cryoform company bought the cryogenics technology. As per ethical requirements, that included all of you who were frozen there. Huh. Okay. We've been helping rehabilitate cryoform's clients for the past five years or so. Mostly folks suffering from previously incurable terminal illnesses and heavy wallets. Uh, you didn't hear that from me, hmm? No, I didn't. You're right. Fortunately, cryogenics was a little experimental when you went under. So while the company's been freezing and reviving clients for quite some time, you had to stay confined to the original equipment. Okay, right. Apparently, a lot of Archon's original documentation was destroyed in a fire. So Cryoform had practically no information on any of you. But you managed to do it, it anyway. So to figure out how to revive you. Okay, Sadly, so you're not, you're not surprised because I would have come out at some point complete. anyway. They share certain delusions, you know, end of the world, that sort of oh, thing. Oh, so those two... An unfortunate uh, okay. side effect of cryogenic's primitive state at the so time. So those other two are my you, however, fellow friends. You, just fine. Apart from the shock, I mean. So... So I'm not sick? You sure? <laughs> yes, Joe, quite sure. In fact, I see no reason to keep you here. We have an excellent rehabilitation team who'll get you settled into your normal okay. in no time. Sure. Just come see me when you're ready to go. But I still feel like I'm gonna... So? Are we all ready to go? I guess. May as well. Oh, don't worry, the rehab team's eager to help get you settled in. I know it may feel a little overwhelming now, but trust me, you'll love it in 2012. Endless opportunities. A whole new lease on life. Huh. Speaking of, I happened to catch you on the surveillance monitors a little while ago, and you seem to show excellent problem-solving skills. You like puzzles, Joe? Apparently. Oh, perfect. I'll be sure to mention it to the career coaches. They'll find well, it I, I do. I really do love puzzles, I guess. Okay, we're just gonna leave. We're not gonna look at all this stuff. Okay. Sure. And now I'm on the train. Okay, so this is mirroring the start. I guess. So you have a skateboard, you have a drunk dude, you have a guy with an iPod there. You have... Oh! Muhammad Ali, Foxy Brown, John Travolta, the 1970s. I can't quite make out those words. I probably could if it was a bit higher quality. Okay. So I'm going to work in a call centre, like all these other people. Okay. And he goes for a walk. Oh, this is nice. Really nice. I know where we are. I guess it's still America. I don't know where we're in America though. Okay. Huh. But does he still cause the outbreak? Hmm. Okay. It's interesting. So the other two are completely insane. Um, I guess I got lucky because I put myself in the cry chamber in time. Well, Joe got lucky. Um, hmm. I guess, um, maybe... As it seemed like the future was kind of 2012, right? It, there, there, I think there were a few clues that it was... He did say 40 years. So, like, I think that... I, I, I don't know. What a, what a weird, what a weird little game. Um, I do think it will, he will end up causing the end of the world. I think it's a, um, I still think it's a self-fulfilling prophecy type, but then he will still end up causing an outbreak, or maybe the other two will cause an outbreak in 2012, um, ending the world, but 
not sure because that ending's a bit strange. Um, I did like it though. Uh, we have all our translators here. Someone translated to Russian. We had someone translate to Spanish. We had a Russian proofreader. We had a Polish translator. Excellent. This is great. Um, yeah, we'll skip those credits. That's fine. Well, that was the Silent Age. Um, that was all ten chapters. Um, yeah. Really, I do like the disco music. So these are all the sort of chapters, which is exciting. Um, yeah, no, that's really, really interesting. So that was, um, I'll leave on the crest, we'll just let go. Um, so that was Sun Age, all, you know, all ten chapters of it. Um, very strange little game, actually. Uh, well, the story's quite interesting, I think, um, although most of the story's in the, you know, last three chapters, um, there isn't too much in the first six, it's all lead up to, and the, like, first four chapters, well, the first, like, three chapters are just puzzle solving rather than story based, um, but no, it was quite good, I enjoyed it, um, I thought it was, it had some really good dialogue and stuff, um, I did quite enjoy it. A few word issues for some of the text, um, and I did like how, well, I, I don't know if I liked it, but as the last few chapters had Joe actually saying more stuff um, in terms of just interacting with things. And I, as I said earlier, I would have liked more dialogue from Joe when just interacting with stuff. I would have liked him to actually read some. Not, not all of it, because that would have been a lot to do, but like just bits and pieces here and there, which I found in, you know, when he was drinking a drink and when he was interacting with a few things. Um, but anyway, that was um, The Sun Age. Thank you for watching this series. Um, I don't know what I'll be playing next. Uh, it'll probably be Cry Fear though. So, because I, I was originally going to do Cry Fear like well, two years ago in 2017 when I was doing YouTube. That was my game after Dead Space. Um, and I record half and then my computer died. So I, I lost that footage. But now I'm going to be redoing Cry Fear. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, goodbye.